Now I'm gonna go over how to create groups for your Echo devices um, in the Alexa app here. Now groups you can kind of think of as digital versions of your physical rooms in your house. So when selecting a group, you're wanna gonna create them based on the rooms in your house. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a family room group and every smart home device that is physically in my family room is going to be added to that group that we create. That'll make it easier for your Echo device to turn off lights and things like that. So for example, once we have this group created, when I'm physically standing in the family room, as long as I've added everything correctly, I will tell my Echo device in the family room to turn on the lights and it'll know to just turn on the family room lights or the lights that I've put in that group in the app here, instead of all of the lights in the house. So this is how we can go ahead and give our smart home products a little bit more context of where they are um, in the physical world. So to do that, open the Alexa app here, go to devices, and from here you can see I have groups already. So to add a new group, I'm gonna select the plus button in the top right, Let's select add group and choose this first option for create a room or device group. Select next. I'm gonna call it family room, um, but if you don't like any of the pre-created names here, you can go ahead and create a custom name for this group if you want to, or this room. I'm gonna select next. And now I'm gonna go ahead and select the lights um, that are physically in that room, which for me are these. I'm gonna select next. I'm gonna select the office dot. Once it's selected, tap next. You can see these are the lights that I selected. Just make sure that's right. I'm gonna select next. There we go. And now you can see we have our Alexa dot that's in that room. So when I tell it to turn on and off the lights, it's gonna to know to turn these lights on and off because that's the ones that are in the group room, this group I created. You can see your individual lights here. You can see one is disconnected. Someone probably turned it off. So I know I have to go and return that one on. Um, and you can also turn those lights on individually from here or on and off altogether from either this toggle or at the top. You can choose speakers that are in this room too. If you select that and click choose, you can see the sound bar is actually there. So we'll click next and then it'll give you the option of play music on the family room speaker. Um, music will play on your family room speakers when you say Alexa play music. We're gonna go ahead and do that. That'll just kind of make it the default. Tap next, tap done. So if you have, that's a Sonos speaker by the way. So if you have your Sonos, you can add that as a third party skill and then it'll show up here. And then you can always edit this group here at the top by just clicking edit and you can go ahead and adjust all the smart home devices and lights and stuff that are in this room if you want to. You can also delete the group by tapping the trash can icon in the top right. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap save, click done. And there we go, you can see it's updated. Now if we go back to devices and we scroll down we can see the family room group is here and we can tap on it and do all those same controls that we could before. So that's how you go ahead and create groups and why you might want to in the Alexa app. Hopefully that helps. And if it does, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one on how to make your technology work better for you. Thanks.